How do I get this to work? Okay. Hmm. Is it working? Shut up, you stupid thing. Don't automatically play. Okay, so it says I'm online. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. Alrighty. Boo. <laughs> Hello. Press the cross button to start. Okay. Create a new profile. Hercule promo? Uh, no, I'm going to be Shadow Sloth because that's who I am. I hope it doesn't say that though. Needs to be a capital S, even though it's in the middle. <coughs> the heck is this? This is um, the ABC Murders. Agatha Christie. I. Uh, Hello there, governors. <laughs> Alright, let oh wait. Sub voices language subtitle beautiful. It's like it knows me. Uh. Alrighty, let's give this a go. Some objects in your inventory can be modified, see whether okay, that was quick. Okay. Yeah, uh, there is a show. I can't remember if I've seen this one with Mum or not. Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor, thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra. A. B. C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. This, this looks good. I wonder if this is based on the book or on the TV show they did. Damn, that's too fast. Cuck. Why would he say cuck? What? No, I just shadow sloth nine four one. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. To the fair Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jab. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. The heavy you playing? <laughs> We're playing a mystery game because it is Tuesday, I think. It's Tuesday, right? Hang on. Yes, Tuesday. Help. Use the left stick to move Poro. Uh, use the right stick to inspect the scene. Use this to find elements you can interact with. When you find an element available, interactions will be indicated. Sweet. Okay. Okay, let's talk to him first. Don't Hello. dilly dally, Poro. Jap will be waiting for us. Alright. Okay then. You. Hello. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. 
She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Okay. I'll take advantage of the movements of mo of the moments where people you are with is busy in order to observe him or her. You will obtain clues about their state of mind and personality. Okay, so like if they're fidgeting or whatnot, or if they forget what the hell they're saying, like I just did. Um, yeah, it's uh, mystery day, so we're doing mis um, a murder mystery. Um, use the right stick to inspect. Yup, yup, or yup. Anyway, well, then select and observe interaction by pressing the triangle button. Okay, dokey. Hello. Ah, that one. All right. Borrow, my friend. Give me a minute to find a damn notebook. Hey, you seem a bit flustered, buddy. Let's investigate. Find three clues that agree with Hercule Poirot's remark. Use the right slip to guide your gaze. He hasn't said He's anything yet. Being oh. too relaxed. Let us find the clues that prove it. It's posture. Yeah, relaxed attitude. This expression. A slight smile. How do you see that? <laughs> the hat. Hat to. Okay. But why does that indicate that. Jap is in a good mood. I bet mm. he thinks he's already called the culprit. Playing around, I guess. Dawdling. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. Mm uh hmm. -huh. The body was found at around 11 in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Mrs. Asher? In her 50s. <laughs> married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh. Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. Really? Why would you... Mm. A little too easy, don't you think? You like complications, don't you? Well, this time you may be disappointed. But that. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. Okay. Where are we going? Okay. Press any directional to open the investigation menu. Select brain, notebook, or objectors with the up button and down button. Okay. But why? So that's just brain, objective, notebook. Okay. Is there anything we could. Ooh! No, fiddlesticks. Why did I say fiddlesticks? It's food and vegetable shop as a front row seat. Therefore, an employee might have noticed something. I have a fair point. Go in. No, okay, that does not work. Oh, wait, no, that's him. Okay, here. Talk. Hello. No. Alrighty then. Oh, that didn't work. What about this thing? Hello. No. Hello. No. Okay, fine. Inside we go. Oh, when I get to adventure games, it's gonna be a nightmare. I'm gonna go through everything. <laughs> Have you seen the timeline in the bus? Damn it! Sorry? Yes, there's been a murder. <laughs> I mean, what would you? What were you hoping to find? Hello, miss. Can I help you? Okay, let's see. What? Please. Don't observe and ask whether she's she dead or not. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. So she was attacked from behind. Oh, okay, okay. So we're not trying to confirm anything this time. We're just... That's a bit odd. Mm, okay. The body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. That's fair. Damn it, Lauren. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll have a look for it. Broken, broken sword. 
Sword Shadow of of the Templars. Yeah, that that sounds interesting. Um, Elba. I can't see any other mark on the floor. What's this thing? This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. That's a bit odd that the pool, unless it's a, I, like unless it's pooling there, because it's being put there. It doesn't make sense that it stayed round. This poor woman's head is up. Resting. I did that. I thought I was doing that one. Okay. Let's see. Matches. Why are she they has matches? A of play cigarette next to her hand. Oh no, the did cigarette. She okay. When she fell. She was serving somebody and somebody else came from behind? I don't know. What's the mustache for? Oh well. Because it's power up. Oh, hello. Observe the objects from all angles with the left stick. Right. <coughs> it's not just any railway guide. It's oh. an ABC. Oh god, that feels really weird. Okay. Great Central Railway official ABC timetable. Is that individuals? In oh, including an original tale told in the train. Well, is, has it got a book to it as well? Is that why it's so thick? Landly. Land. Why is it double letters? Oh, L. Landly. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look-see. It's open oh. at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. And over. That's, that's all we got for that? There are handprints the all over the desk. is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it would not be possible to use them. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. What's in there? Why is there blood on there? Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? That's strawberry no. juice. It's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. If anyone has any suggestions or what no, on what's going on, please feel free to let me know. Sorry. Okay. The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. That's fair. Well, I wonder if people have shifted things. Shifted things back or... Even the floor's clean. So if the, if the door's Nothing been open since any sign of a fight. Hmm. That's a fair point, yeah. Where's the murder weapon? What was the murder weapon? Here we are. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. That's interesting, so the oh, okay. What just happened? Why'd you put me back over here? Oh, so okay, Quaro, that's right. any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exact. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Hey, Ben. I don't of know. Of course, that. my friend. I'll do it straight away. Hey, buddy. There's been a murder. Yes, there has. Uh, so should we go? No, he's going that way. So we sh should go out the back. No oh, fiddle stick. Don't do it, bud. Oh, the door's locked. Would she have the key? Don't do it, bud. Come on, buddy. Get. I know you're a good boy, but don't. No key. Mm, the body is hidden by the counter and is. No. Nope. Okay. Cool. Yes, you can say hello once, but then you got to be a good boy. Stop screeching. What's this? Nothing. Alright, out the door we go. Bird, stop. Have you seen the time on the bonus? <laughs> Fine. 
Do that way. Ow, stop. Oh, fine. Um, you, do you have anything to say about the... Oh, well, whatever, fine, we'll go this way. Can we check it out? Nope. Okay. I think I may... <coughs> okay, we can't go that way. You. Talk? No? Okay. Um, inspect the crimes... Okay, apparently I missed something. Come back. Come back. Ah, there. Okay, brain. Little grey cells. How do we explain the presence of the ABC guide on the counter? Here you are making Pro's little grey cells work. The aim is to answer the questions he asks himself by establishing links between the clues in order to deduce an answer. Use the directional buttons on the left stick to review available clues. Press the cross button to select or deselect clues. Okay, cool. Right. There are no fingerprints on the guide. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Um. There are no objects available. Um. Le letter signed ABC announcing the end of a murder. Yeah. Declaration by having no railway guide for sale. Okay. It was left by the murderer as a signature. Okay, cool. Yes. Murderer deliberately left get behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Endover leaves little doubt. Hmm. Uh. Alrighty. Shall we try another? Theft is is theft no, there's nothing really missing. I'm uh, missing a clue. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's really helpful. Okay, a pool. Of, wait, was she killed on site? Yes, there was a pool of blood. His body was f seen alive. Ah, oh, a wait, what? No other marks. Oh, there's only two this time. Ah, oh, okay. Don't know. I was too busy looking at the clues. So there's no this sign of but dragging a body. Here. The absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. That's what you meant by that. Okay. So where is the last clue? Ah, check the cash register. Can we? Nope. Okay. There we go. How do we check the... Okay, we go around that way. Cool. Oh, crap. Okay. Objects hide secrets in com behind complex mechanisms. It's up to you to decipher them in order to what to find what they're hiding. Observe the object from all angles with the left stick. When the hand icon is pointing to an element, press the L2 button. To go back, press the circle button. When the hand icon grabs an element, hold down the L2 button to take it, then move it with the right stick. Okay. Teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. And that's the other clue. Okay, can we open you? Hi. Something is preventing the drawer from opening. You gotta put in a mount, don't you? It would be best to examine the rest of the teal. Ah, uh, okay. Fine. Wait, don't... No, they don't normally have handles. That's a slot machine, you idiot. Ah! It's locked. C -c Fiddlesticks! No. I'll take... Heh. Ah! There. The mechanism has just made a fan click. Also, can you hear it? Can you hear? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, how come you can't hear? I've got it on silent on my phone. Do you want me to turn it up? No, no, that's a, uh, that's okay. Um, weird. Okay, uh, I thought it should be it should be coming out of here as well. Normally it does. The teal is full of money, 
But there is something strange. <laughs> so you're basically something hearing it twice. Underneath. Ooh, how do we get something that? is eating I underneath. got that, but how do we mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, something is hitting underneath. I get that, but... Oh, wait, do I press... Can we use a coin to flip it up, or... L2, yeah. I got that, but... I can't exactly turn the whole thing upside down. On the... No. Okay, so I can't... Check the, the underside. <sighs> oh, fit. Oh, what's this? What is that? Eight. Ah, oh, eight, five. What? Eight. Eight, five. Hmm. I can't see anything else. Eight, five, two. Let's say two. Ah, there we go. This must be the key to the back of the shop. Uh huh. Okay, cool. That was fun. So I go away for two seconds, and you're still in the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, select the inventory object that you want to use with the left and right buttons. Press the cross button to grab it, and use the right stick to move the item in. To the right place. The object that you stock in your inventory can also be examined more closely. Ah, cool! Yes. Okay. Oh, this is her house as well. Oh, okay. Oh, bang. Wait, observe. What can we observe about this? It's just a key. Cool. That's fine. That's all it needs to be. The door is locked. Did that work? Five points to your ego. What? What is that? <laughs> What's that got to do the price of eggs? Okay. Uh, oh, is that blood on a pillow? Blood. It is. Why? Ah, oh, she had a nosebleed. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? Oh, can I? Oh, he mustn't like this bed because it's not made. He's a very, he's a very tidy individual, shall we say. I just went over that, but okay. Bonjour. An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in oh, the Black Forest. That's nice. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashers were a lovely couple when they were young. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot uh, what he said before. Uh, now he's a violent twat. Yeah. Right. What? Hyper. <laughs> Ooh, pu thinking. It's a puzzle box. Oh, this is gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. Uh, hi, Bree. Thank you for joining. I don't know if Lauren can hear you. Uh, if Bree can hear you, Lauren. Hi, Bree. Now she can. <laughs> Okay, does, does this actually work? If I can do that and then... The wooden flower is preventing ah, the Ah, okay. Therapy. I thought that'd be way too easy. Alright, back you go. Come on. Ah. I'd say that this... Whoop. Ah. Hey, that's what I had before, isn't it? Ah, uh, Bruce says hi. That doesn't work. Okay. Bird, you're, you're in my ear. You're in my ear. I apologize for the bird noises. Wait, dude, what are you doing to me? What do you want, Pearl? Okay. 
Yeah, that's fair. No. Oop, that didn't work the way I thought it would. That's the way we had it. But stop that. You should take the righteous pass and turn everything to the right. Yeah, alright. That's that works. Uh, what part actually connects to this though? That one. And then we gotta move that back. Oh that moves too! Fantastic! The wooden flower is preventing the circle. I'm not trying to move it. the circle! I'm trying to move the flower! Up we go! Yep. Feck! Go up. Go up. No, come back. Why are you not? Oh, well, whatever. So if we go put that. Okay, that does not go there like I thought it would. But do you? No. No. Does anything connect to it? I don't think it does. That does, but why? Why can I not go up? Like, what the flying trash cans of an ashtray is going on? That works. Go away. That's getting wooden flower. really annoying. I know! Okay. I, I can't get into the outside, which is the issue. Fuck me. Sorry. Ah. Uh, what? Yeah. No, I can't. I can't move it while the flower's in place. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a puzzle for a reason. For the love of trash cans. Actually, that might work. Why is it doing that? Like, it sticks up there, like... Why? <laughs> uh, that's just really fucking annoying. Go up, you donkey! There is no reason for this! Like... If you're moving it with a hand like you say you are... Actually, that's not going to work any... Okay. But <laughs> uh, cat, the cat's drinking the bird's water for some reason. Okay. I can't even see what kind of thing it is. Okay, there. So really, we need to be able to find what connects them all when they're all connected over here. Okay. Alright. So we need to get into that piece there. Okay. Wait, which piece was it? Shit. Okay, that one. No, don't move that! Okay. Can I move that up there? I can! Oh, but then I can't move it. Fuck! <laughs> Why? It, it's like there's a magnetic pull there. Piss off! Like, that is really annoying. Like, it moves, and it moves just fine like that. But then once you go up, when you, once you hold it... I know that it is. Stop telling me that it is. Ah, oh, far out. Ah, oh, but then if I move it one step at a time, I can move it back, Pulse. backwards and forwards. Theoretically, <laughs> come on, up, up, like what the fuck? Ah, oh, this is just so fucking annoying. It's not even the challenge. This isn't part of the puzzle. Come on, you donkey. Up. 
gets connected. Like the lines are connected. What is... Is it this little line here that prevents it? Or is that not shadow or some... Fuck... Ah! <laughs> like, what the hell? Technical support. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, and now it goes up. What the pineapples is going on? Can I? Oh. Hey, look at that. That wasn't the right way. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> For the love of that took me a lot longer than it should have, and it really annoys me that it did. <laughs> mm, it is blocked. Really? Okay, so can I? I love you. No, no, he's going to sleep on my drawing. Ah well, no, 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 no. I do not want to start again. Um, there. These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. Thank you. He's so mean. But he's uh, he's honest and not wrong. <laughs> okay, so theoretically, that should be, yeah. Ah, right. Okay, hang on. You got to match the. Oh. No, I'm trying to look up. You silly machine. Ah, that's because it's pressing the wrong button. You jackass. All right, we'll start from the bottom corner again. Interact. So that's just facing downwards. Yeah. And you are facing to the left. Okay. So you're facing like that. Cool. And you were facing to the left. That's, not, that's probably not left. Um, what? No, that was right. Maybe that one was wrong. Whatever. I'll get back to you. And you are facing head that way. And you are upside down as well. Aha! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> All I'm gonna say is, did she get it? Yeah, maybe. Maybe she just got so frustrated she went, ow, 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 ow. In the back of her head. Yes. Laudanum. What's Laudanum? I think. Medicine. I think that said Laudanum. Yeah, Laudanum. Laudanum based cough medicine, Mrs. Hasher. And Dover Morley Laboratory, London. Uh huh. It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. I mean, yeah. It would be. It would have been very expensive, yeah. Bless you. From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, and Dover, to Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, and Dover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, eleven pounds, is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I remain at your disposal for any questions. Adam Flint. Huh. Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Jeb, well. Hmm. What a strange box. 
It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood to open it. Ah oh, no. It's a sliding box. I slide well, <laughs> The only way I opened the last one was actually by um Can I not turn this one? I just did though, didn't I? Ah, okay. The last time I opened um, I opened it was by, um, what was it? No, twisting it, and it clicked into place. Like, okay. Hey, a button! This button appears to activate the mechanism. Kill. Cool. Mm, it is blocked. Yeah, I gathered that, so why did you tell me to touch it? Mm, it is blocked. Uh, mm, okay. It is blocked. Get it? Because it's a block puzzle? Haha! <laughs> Sorry. I'll be good. Okay. Oh, well, that was easy. It's right there. Do I have to press him in a specific order? Mm, it is blocked. Can I put you back? No, I can't. Okay. Hmm. How many? What? She, she, she's a cat. She doesn't look sad today. Maybe she does. Who knows? Why do you think she looks sad? Would you rather her be going? <laughs> Alright, there's a bop there. Weird. That should do it. Okay. Slide the box! Wrong way, jerk. I don't know. A oh, necklace wow. of bright blue stones. Hmm. Who is this young woman? Isn't that her? To my dear Aunt Alice, married Hauer. Ah, okay. Cool. Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her. I don't know. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Alrighty. Theft is the motive for the crime. No, nothing of value. It was stolen. Theft is yes. It was just for the sake of it, by the sound of it. The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle, and the till has not been forced or emptied. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. Okay, let's go. Ah, gotta press square to leave. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's what that says. It says. Four pence oh. lettuce, a lovely lot lettuce, four pence only. Is that four bucks? Probably rounded up to about a dollar pence back then. Strawberries, six pence a pound. Who the hell is talking? Hello? Dash! A puddle! How clumsy! I didn't even see that, did you? Where's the, where's the puddle? Bah! Humbug! The fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, apparently! Ooh, annoyed. This woman appears to be a smoker. Oh, she is too! What gave you the idea? Maybe the cigarette in her hand? 
What is this? Uh, and the ashtray and the pack of smokes? Uh, no, so that... This is a batch. Okay, cool. Hello. She's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop. Okay, there goes a rat. Bye, rat. Hi. Did you know Alice Asher well? Oh. And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot, the detective. Tch, you're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And you're here about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. Well, you're just a rude Did you speak pet. to the victim yesterday? No, I never saw her. Please, that's that's you help me, madame. Why should I help you? For your beautiful moustache? Contemptuous, yeah. Come on, move along now. You're scaring away my customers. Please, do not be ridiculous. Um, yeah, I they... know that Alice Asher she bought strawberries, strawberries yeah. from you yesterday. Well, you know more than I do, then. Run along now. Now. I have work to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what a rude little... Best. Hey, Poirot. Is the yeah. greengrocer causing trouble? I'll sort her out. No, please, leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. I found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. I'm pretty sure mon ami is my friend and mon amu is my love. Hmm. Collect ego points by acting the same way as Hercule Poirot. Okay. Jap had the body removed out of respect for the victim's niece. His attention is commendable. Hmm. Bonsoir. Is our grief sincere? No, no, so I was looking more at the things in her freaking um and her eye. What? What am I looking at? Okay, I'll just like modest black clothing. It's like but it's like she, she needs to be very upset. She's dressed in mourning. She looks for Jail. Okay, sure. Let's let's have a chat. You were very fond of your aunt, am I right? She was the only family I had since my mother died. Jeez, that was a scary look. Your aunt did not have any children, is that correct? No. She was separated from her husband. Ah, I what do you think separate. about Franz Asher, your aunt's husband? He never left her alone. Poor aunt. She used to drop by all the time and make a scene. Was your aunt afraid of her husband? He shouted a lot, but she wasn't afraid of him. Why, he used to slink away when she turned on him. He was afraid of her, if you like. Oh, good. Ask if Alice was alright, what? Say the divorce should have been the solution. Did you haunt enjoy good S? She had a bad throat. But she was well cared for by a doctor in London. Does Franz hmm. Asher work? All he's done for years is drink and gamble, but he used to be a very good cabinet maker. What does he live on? My aunt used yeah. to give him five shillings a week. That's a good point. Um, if Why did she support such a goods for nothing? He was a husband. She couldn't leave him with nothing. Oh, trust me, she could. I understand. You Especially if you're being great threatened. Assistance, mademoiselle. And yeah, she would be most likely getting the inheritance. Please take this young lady home. My pleasure. Well, this Franz Asher does not seem to be quite so dangerous as Jeff says. 
And since Alice Asher gave him money regularly, it was not in his interest to kill her. Okay. New question about can we establish a time range during which Miss Asher was killed? I think we can. It was between 5 and... The body was found at 11. She was last seen alive. Yeah. So it was between then. Can we reduce the time range? Oh. No. No. Okay. Who knows what she was doing? She was. Oh, she was about to have a smoke. Packets in a muddle on the shelf. So what was she doing? I reckon she was organizing the shelf. And that's why she was attacked from behind. Oh! Cool. <laughs> the murderer probably pretended mm. to be a customer. He hit the shopkeeper from behind as she turned around to serve him. Mm, okay. There is... Oh, hello. There's one more thing to look at. This interior is very simple. Yes, there is. N Why is it shaking? Oh, modest crockery. Do not see one bit of crockery. That looks like tin. Not wait. Not pottery. Crockery, you donkey. Oh. Oh, that's a stove. Oh, cool. Mrs. Asher lived very simply. Hmm. Okay. I mean, she. Hang on. Uh, in response to who gets the shop if she dies, no one. Uh, the bank. Uh, no, because it's rented. She went to. Um, she went to go and ask for a loan to buy it, but her eleven pounds wasn't enough to get the loan. Aha! <laughs> observation. No, that was <laughs> an observation. Yeah. Observation. <laughs> oh, there. I swear to God, you check out your mustache. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh, it is. Everything about him is immaculate. He's um. What's the word? Um. He's. I think he's one of the. Uh, uh, one of the few characters written with um OCD. Whoa. Oh, that's the, the husband. You, you didn't even hit the chair. We have to wait for him to sleep it off. He's all yours, Poro. There are a few things I need to check. Is that Alrighty. some way of sewing him up? I wonder what his wife used to do. He must have scared the customers away. Oh, I accidentally unplugged the headphones. As no, we've checked that. They were a mess. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. Yeah. So we've seen that. What did you drop, you dinky bugger? Dinky? No. That's Franz, and he dropped something on the floor apparently, but I didn't see him drop anything. Ooh, what's that? Oh, he knocked things over. Right. That's what they meant. Hello? It's a ledger! It's Ali Sasha's notebook. Oh. Ah, that's interesting. It probably contains information about our possible debtors and creditors. Done it. Okay. Oh. Bodley. The fruit seller has debts too. Of course. She will probably be more cooperative thanks to this piece of information. Oh, <laughs> telling the truth. It's blackmail. Mrs. Asher regularly gave money to her alcoholic husband. A box of new stockings. But it's not like the husband would have a motive, apart from him being a fuckwit. But because otherwise he'd be the one that's losing out on money. 
I bet. He's not in any condition to be questioned. I have to find a way to sober him up. Oh, I, 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 let's get the kettle. Throw some water on him. Actually, let's just hit him with the kettle for being abusive. But I, I get that might have been the staple for the time, I guess. <sighs> Can we pick it up? Mrs. Asher lived very Yeah, I know simply. she lived very simply. God damn it. Okay. Apparently not. But don't. Don't do it. Can I help you? I guess. What? Fuck off. Have you seen the 50 awards to unlock? They're in the bonuses. Okay. Thanks. I keep thinking that there's something up. You! Strawberries, six pence a pound. Oh, it was her that was speaking. Okay. Didn't say, it sounded like a small kid. You, talk. I am accusing you. No, of no, no, don't accuse her of the Asher. murder, you donkey! It wasn't me! According to the victim's account book, you order ten pounds for tobacco. Yeah. Magazines. That's a lie. She owed me one pound. I swear. That's now, no explanation. Can you be so kind as to explain this? That's one way Look to get at it talking. My account book. Alice owed me eleven pounds for fruit and vegetables. I may have had a slate at her shop, but she had one at mine. She owed me one pound, and that reminds me, I have to get it back from her niece. <laughs> that is quite enough. Your account book has saved you, but I might ask Chief Inspector Jap to throw you in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. You want to go to prison? Jesus, prison? okay. Now that's not fair, I haven't done nothing. In that case, I am counting on your full collaboration. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Oh, good. Now you'll be a Listen, decent human being. I didn't kill Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. Then why did you lie? At what time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. But you did not see her. She wasn't in the shop, so I just put the strawberries on the counter and left. Okay, so she wasn't in the shop at, um, at six, but why was it open? You were not allowed. I thought Alice had just gone to get her medicine from her room and that she'd be straight back. Yeah, fair you enough. And medicine. Something for her cough. She used to take it a lot. Who do you think killed her? France. Her scoundrel of her husband. He was always after her for something. Well, he's a foreigner. Uh, sorry, sir. What I mean yeah, is racist. he's German. That's even worse. Did you see Franz Asher enter the tobacco shop late yesterday afternoon? Well, no. But at that time of the day, the streets are packed, and I have better things to do than watch her shop. <laughs> Rude woman, but yeah, fair enough. Alrighty, what's with the frickin' bottle? I'll just borrow your bottle a moment. Take it. It's what Alice used to sober up her husband. But try not to empty the bottle. Oh, okay. But if it's I'll try and get our brain cells to work. Okay, fine. So, can we reduce the time range? So, she didn't see anyone at the fruit shop, and mm. that. I didn't think that was right. But none of these relate to time. Okay. Oh, of course. Okay, because she didn't say it, it was got to be before then. Yeah, okay. Mm. Okay. Strawberries. Shut up. Sorry. I'll be good. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, everyone's in here now. Why? What is this stuff, actually? Let's investigate it. Observe it, excuse me. Nancy's bottle of vinegar. <laughs> the smell could awaken the dead. Cool. Wait, so... Why would she be using it? What would she... How would she be using it if not just opening it? 
Hey, Dopey, wake up. Oh, that's all he did. Okay. Mes amis, I can say without a doubt that poor Mrs. Asher was killed between half past five and six. Killed when the street was packed with people. That's rather bold. Mm. I've been talking to the neighbors and... No one's seen anything? Or rather it's anything and everything. Am I wrong? <sighs> no. Bien. We must grill this villain Asher before he falls asleep again. <sighs> you. Oh wait, no, talk, investigate him first. Shit. Oh no, this we got him. in rather a bad state. Why has he got a black eye? Black eye, cut lip. Oh, split lip, excuse me. Ah, toilet, tear. Torn, cut sleep. Hey? This man has been fighting in his Yeah, it's Tom Cut sleep. <laughs> God damn it, Larry. Quick kit. What? It said, um, he's got a split, split lip. And a busted eye, and a torn shirt, and they said he re and his conclusion was he reeks of alcohol. What? <laughs> uh, for a cigarette. Um. Care for a cigarette, Monsieur? What's that? Scented cigarettes? No thanks. Bien. I was trying to be friendly, but you are quite right. Let us get down to business. You threatened to kill your wife, and now she's dead. So what? You shouldn't take things so seriously, sir. Nothing but empty threats. We didn't get on all that badly. Fuck <laughs> off. So, if things were going so well with your wife, why did you not live with her? She was the one that left. Nothing to do with me, sir. Nothing to do with you. You can't have treated her very well for her to run away. No, sir, no. I wouldn't say I'd ever laid a finger on her, but it was only normal. She was Jesus my wife. Christ, dude! Fuck off! Are you often involved in fights? I don't know what you mean. Yeah, he's a fucking hypocrite. Uh. <laughs> the truth is that someone gave you a good beating. A beating? No way! All right, he tore my coat and gave me a black eye. Did you see the state of him? Very Wake interesting. Up. Who is the other that you struck? Probably best if I tell you everything. Good boy. Yesterday afternoon I met Roderick Tanner. We'd bet on a dog fight together. An illegal bet, naturally. <laughs> yes, sir. Our dog won. Roderick got the money, but he refused to give me my share. And you thought about it. What time was this? In the evening, about six, I think. We were on the other side of town. You see, I couldn't have killed my wife. But how did you know it was at si around six? Asher's alibi appears to be confirmed. All the same, I'm going to call and check that he did have a fight with this Tanner on the afternoon of the murder. You can never trust this sort of chap. Hmm. One thing is certain, Asher was a ruffian who used to beat his wife. But he's not very educated. It certainly was not him who wrote the letter signed ABC. True. Let's resume these things. We know the murderer pretended to be a customer. He did not kill her for money, that appears to be certain. I agree with you on that point. And the murderer left an ABC guide as a signature. Therefore, it's likely he wrote the letter. Indeed, so that doesn't explain why and how he did it. You are quite right. Why he did it is a mystery. But as for how he did it, we do know enough to try and reconstruct the events. Alright, reconstruct the crime scene, crime's course of events by selecting the actions that killer may have executed. Have to, okay. Reconstruction. Alright then. The killer enters the shop. Uh huh. Advance. Mrs. Asher turns around to greet a customer. Uh huh. Ask for something at the top. The murderer back. asks her for some tobacco. She turns her back yeah. to him. He seizes the opportunity to strike her. 
He then places the ABC upside down before leaving. Everything appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. Well, that was fun. That is exactly what happened. But why is it a pool in perfect, a uh, perfect circle? That's weird. So you'd think it'd be a bit more spread out, just from pooling in general, especially with nothing to bind it to a circle. Asher has a strong alibi, and we don't have any other suspect. But what was the point of this crime? She had no debts. She gave Franz Asher money regularly. She wasn't owed money. Nobody stood to gain anything. No doubt about it. The murderer is insane. Hmm. And I fear that we had not heard the last of him. I hope you're wrong for once. Yeah. Let's go back to London. If we hurry, we should catch the two past seven train. Are you coming? No, unfortunately, I have to talk with Andover police. See you soon, then. Are you coming, Hastings? Let's go home. There's nothing for us here. What? Uh, what is the relationship? Uh, uh, well, do you have any idea about? The I can't ask. Chris, oh no, Chris here. Hmm. The crime was committed by a man yeah. of medium height with red hair and suspicious eyes. He has a slight limp on the right foot and a wart just below his shoulder blade. Poirot. Mon ami, what do you want? You fix upon me a look of dog-like devotion and demand of me a pronouncement a la Sherlock Holmes. Now for the truth. I do not know what the murderer looks like, nor where he lives, nor how to set hands upon him. What shall we do then? Nothing. Nothing? Do not be so impatient, Hastings. The killer will manifest himself soon enough. I thought I heard the postman. Maybe there's some news. I would go and see. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what is their relationship like? Is he just a friend? Is he an apprentice? A protege? What? Uh, Mum would know, but... Hmm. You want the Cupid's bow mustache? That's cool. Okay. Ah, oh, right, turn it over, you donkey. Dear Mr. Poirot. Well, what do you think? I believe that I won this round. The end of our affair went like clockwork, don't you feel? But the fun has only just started. I would like to draw your attention to Bexil on Sea on the 25th of this month. We're having a crazy time. Best wishes, ABC. Hmm. Okay, well then. The next crime will be in Bexil. <laughs> we must warn Jap to Scotland Yard. Did the letter indicate anything that might help the police? To be honest, I think we can already guess something about the next victim. But I need to think about it a little more. Hmm. I think it... Just a friend. Okay, cool. No worries. So it's just... Just a friend. Fair enough. Why did we turn the fan ah, on? Some cool hair. Okay. Is that... He's from Belgium, right? Um... It's cold there? Thinking of what? <laughs> Hang on, what are we doing? Let us examine oh, this more closely. Okay. The eyes are very heavily put on. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, but I didn't mean to give you a fright. Certain characters in the two letters may have similar defects. Hmm. Yes, so that one? this eye is weird. That one? Yes, the eye characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. So do we... I have to find some yeah. other similar defects to confirm my theory. The A? Yes. The A appears to be quite unusual. That's right. The A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. But is that just I a typewriter? I have some other similar defects to confirm my theory. The W? Hmm. 
Mm. The W is not printed properly. So the W. Of course, the W characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. So the W on his typewriter right. is. These two letters damaged? were written with the same typewriter. Okay. Oh, okay. I get. The Both idea. letters were mm. written on the same typewriter and show the same characteristics. You surprise me, Poirot. You usually ignore material proof. But there is nothing usual about these cases, things. Nothing must be overlooked. Cool. All right, that's fine. And get our brain cells to work. All right, let's do this. Okay, what's special about the end of a murder? No, not that. End of the ABC guide. Oh, didn't even notice. Okay. What can we guess about the next victim? Oh, it's going to be Bexel. So, I would, okay, would likely start with B. Yeah, fair enough. So, Poirot, have you found something? Oui, I believe so. But I am afraid it is not enough to stop the murderer. Let us go and see Chief Inspector Chap. I will explain there. Okay. I thought we were going to call him, but why not? Leave Whitehaven. Okay. Oh, it's up there. Duh. No doubt about it. Hastings is going bored. <laughs> That's just mean. It's like, yeah, my friend's going bored. Okay. Anything else we can find? Yeah. I like the alligator. It's a little stuffed alligator. Okay. Yeah. I'll take Ali at home. Alison at home. Mm. Except that one's real. It was real. So are these all penthouses? To be called Whitehaven Mansions. Mm. Let's go. To Scotland Yard, please. Go zoom! And the rapper. What if it done to your f nose? Alright. Wonder why they call it Scotland Yard. They never liked the Scots. They didn't! Just see them out of <laughs> Jap has invested a great deal in his career. Mm. A medals board, certificate. And oh, bro, he's a marksman. Okay. Jap is an investigator greatly respected by his peers. <laughs> Bexel. Hey, look, Lincoln. Lincoln and Lincoln. That's it. That's Wales, isn't it? Uh, Cheshire. Hereford. Ah. Oh. Alice Asher was murdered in Andover. The ABC killer's first murder. Mm hmm. London. I really like this city. One thing is certain, you never get bored here. Mm. Okay. Anything up here? Chaps interview room. Many cases have been solved in this little office. How are you doing today? Chap appears to be snowed under. Oh, he's taking the phone off the hook. He's got coffee. Cold tea. Excuse me. Yes, cold tea. And unopened letters. Oh, okay. Jap appears to already be overloaded with work. My news is not going to improve matters. Yeah, probably not. Bonjour, Chief Inspector. 
I am afraid we have some bad news. I have just received another letter signed ABC. The next crime will be on the 25th in Bexilancy. Are you completely sure it's from the same person? I have compared the two letters. There is no doubt about it. I suppose you think he's going to carry out his threats? I fear so. Good God, Poirot. Bexil is very busy at this time of year, and we have no idea who the next victim will be. Hmm. I suspect that the name of the second victim will start with B. What on earth makes you think such a thing? I thought about it when I saw the name Asha clearly written over the shop door of the unfortunate woman who was murdered in Andover last month. When I received a letter mentioning Bexil, I deduced that the victim, like the town, might have been chosen by alphabetical order. <laughs> so it was random. So it's an alphabet fiend. I'm going to have a list drawn up of all the people whose name starts with B. I hope there aren't too many of them. Yeah, we should leave you to work, Chief Inspector. You have a few days to prepare yourself. Thank you for coming, my friends. Mm-hmm. Okay. Poirot? Chief Inspector Jab, your call does not bode well. Indeed, we have just found the body of a young woman on the beach in Bexhill. An ABC was placed on the body. We'll be oh, there as soon as possible. Train time. Oh, there's Bexel. Okay. What's it the various? Okay. It looks a little similar to Barton. Bexel is a delightful town. It would be nice to come back and visit. Mm. I do not entirely agree. Walking at the beach damages my shoes. And it hurts my knee. So the years have not spared you, my friend. It's the same for all of us. That is exactly what I said to myself when I saw you back from your travels. Poirot! Do not be offended, Hastings. I can see Jack waiting for us. And from his face, I would say that things are not looking good. Hello, friend. How do you do, gentlemen? Chief Inspector? I fear your admirer has struck again, Poirot. We haven't yet identified the victim, but it's a young woman, 20 to 25 years old. Death occurred last night between half past 11 and 1 o'clock, and we found an ABC guide on the body. Was she pretty? Come on, Poirot, that's rather out of place. It has no bearing on the murder. Are you certain? For women, it is often the most important thing. It often decides their destiny. The body hasn't been moved. You can see for yourself. Has the press been informed? Not yet, but I'm planning to. I haven't yet informed them about the presence of the ABC guide in Andover. Nobody has reported a young woman missing? Not for the moment. No witnesses, mm. I imagine. Indeed. We've asked everybody who may have met a young woman fitting her description last night to come and see us, but I have little hope of gaining anything from it. It's early days, Chief Inspector, and the news may not have spread around the town yet. I hope you're right, Hastings. Why does it go come up? What? Crab! Hi, friend. Come back. Get the crab. Oh, what's that? There is no doubt about it. Bexhill has one of the most beautiful beaches in the area. Hmm. What's with the rope? Oh, it's a tape. Uh, is that a tape measure? A braided silk belt. Oh no. May have belonged to the victim. She was a great beauty. Strange that chap didn't notice it. Oh, that's a bit. Ah, uh, learn your butt. The guide is open at the page for the Bexhill train times. Oh, it smells like a paint lover's pizza. What? That is weird. A braided seat belt. 
It may belong to the victim. Sorry. Oh, um, Lauren just opened a bag of twisties. Uh, what? Is she the barefoot? The woman wasn't wearing shoes or a coat, and was not carrying a bag. I'm not That's eating one, not right now. Fuck. Either the murderer stole her belongings, or she put them somewhere safe. Maybe so <laughs> that she could bath. Hang on a second. Dark web. There's a key on our This key is too small to be one for a house. Without a doubt, it is for a padlock. Hey, there he is. Hello, friend. These marks have been left by a rope or a breaded cloth. Wait, did, so he left the murder weapon this time? A braided seat belt. It may have belonged. Oh. Apart from the marks on her neck, there are no signs of the struggle. She didn't manage to hit her assailant. Yeah, not bad. This is now try quite fun. and get our brain cells to work. The Jetman. Take a guess. No, it's not Johnny, but. Who is it? Cedric. Sorry, Cecil. <laughs> I should have said Cecil. Um. So, who we know is how is the victim killed? The marks on the neck. I reckon it's a belt. Yeah. Strangled by surprise with her own belt? Hey, how are you doing? The poor child must have been strangled <laughs> with his braided belt. <laughs> Shit. Fortunately, in view of the fabric, it is unlikely that we will find any prints. Lauren just said right I'd be surprised too. I don't even know. To own a belt. Oh, that's good to hear. It's good to hear. Okay. What are the common points between the Andover murder and the one in Box Hill? The book? Uh... Um... Material proof... Playing Warframe... Oh, okay, cool. You're a unicorn, are you? Okay. Um... Ah, oh, both were done from behind. Damn it, Lauren! Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, I've... No, okay. There we go, they both got the ABC. Yeah, okay. Oh, that sounds interesting. Are the crimes in Andover uh, the same? Yes. Uh, the... The press didn't know that the, the ABC guide was found in Andover, so... They'd have to. They'd have to be the same person. The medical officer should confirm that the victim was strangled with her own belt. That's what I thought. I think anyone would she be bloody surprised being strangled by their own belt. Oh, sorry, bud. With a little luck, we'll find Prince this time. You are too optimistic, Hastings. Our killer is far too meticulous for that. Do you ever find gr little grainy bits in um, twisties? Like, just really hard, not really hard, but a lot harder than the rest of it. Gabby, you it yes. Yeah, every now, just every now and then. <laughs> um, He's Belgium. Belgian? Belgium? Uh, Belgian. What? Belgians? <laughs> yes, Lauren, Belgians. <laughs> what are these? Is locked. Oh, I wonder if the key... Did we get the key? We did. Wait. Observe the key. He... Uh, number six. He's a famous detective from... Um, a, one of Agatha Christie's famous detectives. It's this one. The nine's been put upside down. Ah, oh. oh, Poirot. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> See, he knows his stuff. So this is to get... Oh. Why 7.15 though? Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know they had double. A dual locking padlock. I need to find the code and then insert a key. Cool. Okay. So. Ah, same here. <laughs> 
Same here. I've re I've re I've I've um seen a couple of the vi of the movies and they they're really good. I don't think I've seen this one. I don't remember this one. But leave it alone. Don't be a good boy. Don't don't be mean. That was 7:15, yeah, not 7:51. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so does Mum. She's got a whole bookshelf full of them. Um. Back out a sec. Yeah, 7:15. That's what I put. What is your malfunction? So that should be fine, unless that. Weird. Hey there. Oh, unless we do. We back out entirely. No. How do I put the. You know what? Fuck off. How do I activate the key? Yes. No, you're not gonna let me? Whatever. Fine. Alright, well, we'll do this again, because it's. Pretty simple. The number is upside down. This is oh, definitely okay. at number six. So you wouldn't let me do that. Okay. Back it up. Try again, shall a we? Luck in padlock. Excuse you. What did you just say, dear boy? Mm -hmm. Firstly, I have to remove the padlock. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, of course, that makes sense, yeah. Let me put the key in. I'm sorry if anyone can actually hear that. Good, he's nibbling. Shut up, Laura! <laughs> Smartass! Why won't you let me put the key in? Come on. Unless it goes like that. Seven. One. Five. Eight. I don't think so. Because it's pointing from there. Unless it goes... ...on the outside. But I doubt it. No? Alright. Weird. Help, get me a stick. It should be 715. Unless that's a 6. We'll try 716 then, shall we? No, it is a 5. Anybody got any ideas? Seven one five. Yes. But why? Uh, you're supposed to do both at once, right? L two. Yeah. Bottom right corner. This one. No. Yeah. No. I have no idea. Bird, do you have any input? Just biting the microphone, you bloody weirdo. Um, it's a six. Okay. That's really annoying. Unless that's not actually the code for this one. And it's for somewhere else. Yeah, but what else does it say? It says it say it in that way? Up. 715 from top to bottom. Yeah. Use the key to open the padlock. But it won't let me. <laughs> I'll let, maybe I've got to examine the key. Maybe I've got to examine the key and make sure that... It's... I see that it says number 6. Uh-huh. Okay. 
let's try again, shall we? I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die, and I'll silence anyone who gets in my way. Who's a good boy? Maybe a zero percent Maybe. Oh, jeez. Stuck to the beak. Alright. Alright, sit back up. The number is upside down. This is definitely at number six. Yes. Well, wait, let me. Maybe I put it back. Yeah, no. No. And it definitely says 715. I need to find the code and then. We've got the code. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Oh. For the love of fish, what am I doing wrong? 715. Yeah. 715, that's the code that I've got. <laughs> yeah, like in the picture, but how do I put the key in? That dude wouldn't let me. The, the key's right there. Motherfucking son of a fish! It works the same way as before. There we go. I'm an idiot, sorry. That literally took way longer than it should have. And then, out. Yeah, is <laughs> she enjoying herself? I know, I know. It definitely <laughs> was here that the victim left her belongings. Uh, the purse is full. Yet again, we can dismiss theft as the motives for the murder. Here is the watch she must have removed to prevent it from getting wet. That's the why it's on Tuesday. Red lipstick. She liked to take care of her appearance. Okay. As well as a photo of the victim with some company. It could be useful to me. Wait, why are you telling me to do it already? There's one more. Betty's first day at work. Mama is very proud of you. Elizabeth Bosley. Oh, she's BB too. Wait, that didn't count as a clue? Oh. Uh, why? Why didn't that count as a clue? Ah, oh, because i got to spin it. No? Betty's first day yeah. at work. Mom is very proud of you. Elizabeth Barnard, 7 August 1931. So, the young lady did have a name starting with B, and she worked as a ginger cat, an establishment that must be slightly further along the beach. Oh, ginger cat restaurant, cool. Not yet. Jap has gone to the police. The victim has been identified and her family had reported her disappearance. She was called? Elizabeth Barnard, mainly Betty. She worked as a ginger cat to the cafe slightly further along the beach. But Poirot, how on earth? Never mind. Do you have a address? Yes, she lived with her parents on the street leading to the beach, number 22. Shall we go? You are far too impatient, Hastings. Let the poor people take in the news first. Let us go and visit the cafe where Betty worked. Wonder did she work the night shift? So why am I checking out the notebook? About what? I haven't missed anything yet. Okay. She was a waitress at the Ginger Cat. She was 23 years old. Is that only because of approximation? Oh no. But yeah. Francis Asher. What the flying fish nuggets? Mary. Mary drowned it. What? A witness, not f victim. You donkey. <laughs> About 50 years old in Andover. Uh huh. About 50. Okay, what was the point in that? I but I didn't need to. I've got all my information. I remember all the information that it just gave me. <laughs> Alright, no more, no more walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> it was just that bit that I didn't get. I didn't get what the hell was going on. 
If I get stuck again, like that badly, where it's taking me ten minutes just to get a freaking press the button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, I know she knows. Yeah, I know that she knows. I can't remember. Your things appear to be close. He appeared to be relatively indifferent to Mrs. Asher's murder, but a young woman's murder seems to be troubling him greatly. Wonder why? Ah, uh, what's With this? All these tourists, these shops must be thriving. Hi, bud. He's a good boy. He's a pretty boy. He's a pretty good boy. Let's go inside. I'll be with you in a minute, gentlemen. All right. Wait, why did I have so? <laughs> I don't have a hat. Ooh. I like the music. What a pity. I don't have any chance to make it work. You'll be with us in a moment, so I'll just wonder. Are they ginger snaps? Wait, what? Ginger nut. That's it. Can't remember. <laughs> yeah. He always checks his reflection to make sure he's immaculate. As far as I know. These things would probably like us to rest here, but the investigation cannot wait. Do we wait or do we just. Oh, well, fuck it. We're gonna stare intently at this woman. Something tells me that she's the owner <laughs> Damn it, of the <laughs> cat. And not a very... That's a very fair point. What? What are you focusing on? <laughs> I've tried to. Strict appearance. Yeah, well, she's not. <laughs> God damn it. Um, there's something up here. Oh, red hair. What's that going to do with the price of eggs? Or are we just looking at her? This woman must be the owner of the ginger oh, cat. Oh, ginger cat, red hair. Yes, yeah, like okay, fair enough. Bothering her. Yeah, alright. <laughs> this must How be an I embarrassment to my mother, not being able a to pick this up as well as she. <laughs> oh, hot chocolate and tea. That sounds nice. <laughs> Mum must be sad that I can't pick this up as well. <laughs> or remember. I need to know the timelines during which Betty was working on home. Ask mom. Uh, it might have been SBS. Oh no, ABC. Are you saying that's because it's the ABC murders? Or they keep saying ABC? No. <laughs> uh. True. These oh. These are the different waiting staff's bills. Which ones were written by Betty? How are we going to tell that? Oh. Uh. How the heck are we going to tell that? We don't have a example of her writing. Yes, we do. We've got an example of her writing um, with the um, postcard thing that was sent to her aunt. Excuse me, I was knocking my nose. Um, trying to think. Found a beautiful... That does not help. That's all well and good, but it's not the right photo. Oh, okay. Use the... No, piss off. Would you... No, leave the item alone. This there page won't help me. Nope. Next page. This page won't help me. That's why we're trying to turn the page, buddy. Where is Betty? Betty. 11 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Okay, cool. Yeah, it would be, yeah. Um, 11 a.m. to 7.30, so it could be that one. It could be that one. Oh, that's hours, not hour. No. What? Hour 5, what? Oh, it's 5 o'clock, you donkey. What the fuck? 
Hang on. A... Can I observe each one? No. Go away. I didn't ask for that thing. Squid one, squid two, squid three, squid four. <laughs> what face, squid five? Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, ah, it. yeah, okay. Yeah. There we go. What, why is the face? Yeah, <laughs> right, it is worse than a doctor. You reckon it's that one? I gotta check again. God damn it. Alright. So, she worked from 11 to 7.30. So, it could be that one. It could be that one. No, leave the photo alone. Uh, it could be this one. Most probably a single man. A whiskey lover. Maybe the murderer? This bill may have been written by Betty. Oh, okay. So we're getting close. Okay. So that one. Stop pressing X, you silly ass. Can I close that menu? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Could be yeah, that one. Something's not right. Betty was alone at just one of these two times. What's that gonna do the price of eggs? So the hour is twelve. She she was there at twelve as well. She was there for most of these times. Wait, do they do they um run a specific table? There's table three. This bill may have been written by Betty. Right? Uh huh. I <coughs> and then what about this one? Betty wasn't serving on her own at these two times. For the love of fish, but oh, you jackass! Frickin' Reed went. Mm, listen to what he says and then check. Fuck. Right. Okay. So she wa oh, So she was working alone. After six, after five. Okay, cool. Stop picking up that thing. I so used to pressing X to confirm things. Okay, so after five, so probably this one. Yes, I know. Okay, pick up. Leave that alone. Most probably a family. No, something's not right. Betty was alone at. What do they? What do they mean alone? That she was? There was no one there at six thirty or five. Five. They just let. Fine. Most probably a single man. Yes, 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 yes. This Leave me alone. Have... Okay, back in it, and that one. Most probably a family. Yes. Right, so she was alone, so... A man on his own, a whiskey drinker. Maybe he's a murderer. Okay, this cool. Information I have no idea how to pause this to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, well, not happening. <laughs> what? Gentlemen, what are you doing? I mean, that's a fair point. You haven't got a... For clues, what should we call it? A uh, warrant or anything? I am a detective, and this is Captain Hastings. Does Betty Barnard work here? That is correct. She should have been here a while ago. Punctuality is the first rule of politeness. I fear that Miss Barnard will not be coming today. <laughs> she has just been found dead on the beach a few Shit. hundred meters from the cafe. How awful. Poor young thing. What happened? Not care. No. She appears to have been murdered. This is most distressing. How oh, this will affect mm, my business, God. I shudder to think. <sighs> ah, priorities. What can you tell us about Miss Barnard? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Miss Barnard was my employee, her private life was none of my business. You her glasses were tinted. That she had a young man. Indeed. This photo was found. Is this him? Yes, that's him, all right. But I haven't seen him for some time. Ah, 
I find young mm. people today very hard to understand. You needn't tell me that. A few weeks ago, ah, they you. argued just outside the cafe. Imagine what my customers must have thought. I hope for you that it was an isolated incident. It That's might be clever. difficult to keep a respectable establishment if your staff show themselves to be so shameless. The young man only made a scene the once. Jealousy, no doubt. It must be said the young girl was very pretty. What are you doing, bud? Thank you for your time, Mademoiselle Merion. You have been of great help. <laughs> Let the capitalists of threat to you, yes. The customer who ordered the whiskey might provide us more information. He may have been the last one to see Betty alive. It is an interesting idea, Stings. Maybe he is a regular guest. Mm. What do you think, mademoiselle? I don't think so. Our regular guests tend to order tea and cakes. At this time of the year, there are a lot of tourists about you never see again. That's what I thought. Time to visit Betty's home. Hmm. Okay. Let's go then. This is a well laid table. Nothing is out of place, and above all, no creases. What's people's problems with creases? Like, what? Like, creases always have to be gotten rid of. Uh, they're, they're, um, unsightly. It's just a fold in the bloody. When you iron pants and stuff, you're meant to create creases, sir. You're meant to create a crease in the front or something? Yeah. Yes, but why? Because people have to be fancy. Could it be the same buildings as on okay. the victim's photo? I, as if that cupola? Mm, it's a dome, but okay. Um, beach chairs. I don't. That's the thing, because <laughs> I don't see the point. This is definitely where the photo I found in the hut was taken. Michael doesn't iron the shirts. Michael doesn't do the house chores. I did a careless letter and I did the um, washing up and I do the cooking. I clean the whole apartment. Every now and then, like <laughs> once a fucking month if you want to start playing games. <laughs> Everyone shut up. I do eat mine almost each night apart from the washing up but I do the rest of it every bloody night you clean the house like once a month if that if you want to play games <laughs> smart ass I could go into details if you want <laughs> do you want me to go into details <laughs> well don't be rude I guess everyone has a little lot to do yeah that's fine I just but um, the whole ironing shirts and making sure everything is is straight and all that. I've never understood why. My brother irons his jeans. <laughs> Didn't you say he irons his socks as well? I don't know why he'd iron socks though. I thought jeans were supposed to be anti-crease or something. That's why they were... They became such a popular thing. I fear that this case is far from being sorted. <laughs> Come on, Poirot. You'll find the killer. Cert. But how many times will he kill before I do? Hmm. Brute little bastard. How do you do, mademoiselle? My name is Hercule Poirot. I know you. You're that detective we hear all about. I do not know if that is a compliment, but I will take it as one for now. You are Betty's sister, I believe? Yes. My name is Megan. Can we come in? <laughs> Please do. Okay. So, Megan is the mother? My oh, parents are at the crying. police station. I doubt they'll be able to speak to you later. Do not worry. We will not bother them. Did you know your sister's plans for yesterday evening? No. I arrived by train this morning. My parents called me in a panic when they discovered that Betty had disappeared. 
She went out last night, but she didn't tell them where she was going. What was your last conversation about? Her new dress. She wanted a pair of black stockings to go with it. Mother brought her a pair. The very day it happened. She was crying. Oh, and to think that Betty never even wore them. Poor oh, mummy. Alrighty then. This gramophone is magnificent. It is a one-off, without a doubt. Hmm. Let's observe this human. What is she feeling at the moment? Pretty bloody upset by the look of it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think that's the point, though. You, you were supposed to suspect everyone. It's like red her herrings or whatnot. Okay, there's something down here, but... Mr. Poirot, I don't like being stared at. <laughs> if you have something to say, would you please say it to me? Uh, yeah, give me a sec. What is... Th what are you trying to tell me to look at? Cuffs? Okay, that's getting really annoying. What? Oh, uh, now you'll zoom in on her hand. We're done. Betty's older sister is not just sad. She's angry. Mm. Okay. Why are you grumpy? <laughs> Your sister had a fiancé, I believe? Yes, he's called Donald Fraser. A very nice man. Uh. A hot-headed man, by all accounts. You are quite wrong, Detective. Don is serious and reliable, and has a good position at Court and Brunskill estate agents. Thank he would you. have made Betty a very good husband. Uh, at least we know where he is. Oh, okay. What was that? Excuse me, I have to answer that. Okay. Of course. Okay, Betty's why didn't you read it? is opposite the stairs on the first floor. Feel free to take a look if you think it might be useful. Sweet, let's go. I think I missed some stuff there. This By saying that. Far too clever not to have anything else for us. Do you think she's hiding something? That is what I'm trying to find out. Surely you don't think she did it. <laughs> I did <laughs> That's not say But young women always ruin your judgment, Hastings. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Megan was jealous of her attractive young sister. Maybe. I see. She may have had her sights on the inheritance. Or maybe she was in love with Donald Fraser. I care that! We have Come to here. study all scenarios, even the most unlikely. But I doubt that Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Barnard are rich Come enough here. to justify murder. Ah, uh, yes, silly bird. I Miss Barnard to talk, I would like you to try and find Donald Fraser. It should be easy to find the estate agents where he works. Bring him to the Ginger Cats. I would like to talk with him before the chief inspector finds him. Mm. Well, let's waddle. <laughs> oh, that's the stairs. Ah, oh, right. Okay, that makes sense. Every mirror, you gotta check how you look. Hey, she's got a recording device. Hmm. I wonder if it's like a all the phone extension. She took out. Betty must have had a problem deciding what to wear. Maybe she had a date. Oh, okay, fair enough. A box of new stockings. Wait, oh, she was recording singing. It looks like Betty was also a music lover. Oh, it's a metronome. Same as a family. Cool. Don't chew on the cord or me, you jackass. Don't chew on me either. Dick. Oh, hello. A record sleeve with an handwritten title. Betty must have recorded the demo. I'd be interested to hear it. Okay, are we going to take it? No. 
Something on this clock bothers me. Uh, there's a... This wooden panel is blocked. I can't open it. What? Oh, there's a panel there. Okay. You look very suspicious. Hi. This metal disc is stuck. Okay. All right. Does it tell you the time at all? Hello. Oh crap! What strange mechanism. I don't think it serves to turn the hands. Why are there three things that don't look like they do anything? <coughs> hmm. The cogs are blocked by these wooden panels. Yeah, I get I caught that, but Can I move that? Can I The cogs are blocked. I got that. Thanks. Okay, uh, a little bit of freaking. The cogs are blocked oh. by. Information would be nice. Can I pull that down? If I pull that down, then. The cogs are blocked. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The auto save. Okay, come on. Um, can that go inside itself? If I pulled that far enough, yes. There's no indication that this does anything, though. Can't pull. I know, mate. I got that. Okay. No. <laughs> Maybe I don't touch that yet. Maybe it's something else. This wooden panel is. Well, they're both blocked. What? What, is this where I start at least? Don't move it like that! Oh, the clock moves. I thought it was just the time, okay. The flying... Good the hell. <laughs> Is there another clock in here that I can t get the information of the time or? I don't know! <laughs> I think I'm just gonna set it to freaking midnight. Something on this clock, but. Is something bothers you? Yeah, the whole thing's been bothering me. I don't get the hell. Yeah, that's better. Why is that better? <laughs> what? Oh, unless this that... This metal disc is stuck. Unless... Uh, it, maybe it's supposed to be... 12.30. Nope. It's done. Okay. So we got this. What a strange mechanism. I don't think it serves to turn the hands. I am sick. Okay. Why did you, I, I'm not this even touching the face? I can't open it. Uh. uh. What? This wooden pen is blocked. I know that it's fucking stuck, mate. Uh, what? I I could not see. What? The paper? Yeah, I tried that. It's stuck. Strange. A sheet of paper is blocked in the clock. Uh huh. The click on one of the directions on. What? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, what the hell is that? This decoration appears to be firmly fastened. 
Okay. This leg is not well attached. Break it off. This leg is not well attached. Ah! <laughs> oh, spin the Oh jeez. That just went flying. Okay, good. Then fuck off. <laughs> Uh, I do not know how to this pause it. Appears You're a weird bird, you know that? Just letting you know. This wooden panel is blocked. Oh, what? Is there more on the feet as well? Uh huh. Hmm, could this could be slightly loose? Wee! <laughs> it should be. Okay, this is freaking weird. Look, a key. Uh huh. That's to wind the this clock. This could be yeah. useful. Okay. I keep remembering. I don't have to. Gr I keep forgetting that I don't have to grab it to turn it. This decoration appears to be family. Can I leave this with you for a second? And that thing went for. I know. I just goes. Um, can I leave this with you for a sec while I go to the bathroom, please? Yeah, see what you can this find. This decoration appears to be firmly fastened. <laughs> it comes with a free bird! Fantastic! Oh, what I've always wanted! Please welcome. Bonjour. <laughs> Ouch. I'm just gonna look at the playthrough. Cause Michael's too proud to use it. Um, what am I doing with a foot? Do 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 do. I have no idea how to play. He handed me the wrong controller. He handed me the wrong controller. I don't care if it's a puzzle game. I I hate puzzle games. It's Michael that loves them. I just like reading the playthroughs. Do 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 do. Find the wooden panel. Do do. What? Said so there's a thing, but there's no thing. The inside of the door. I don't know how to work this game. This one? No? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. No. Oh, there's more on the door. What? I'm going all around. Oh. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, cool. I know. That one. You know how to do it? Yep. Good. Because the playthrough doesn't make much sense either. Okay. And I'm back. Thank you. Okay. But it is a puzzle game. Yeah. Okay. So. Top one is three. Other one, two. So bottom. Okay, cool. That works. Okay. Gimme. No, you fluff nugget. There. Okay. So the bottoms were two. Yeah. That one was three. And that's Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do I use that on Yo ho! Okay. Cool. <laughs> I definitely need an object to make this call. Yeah, I've got the object. I was just using it. Oh my god, you put me all the way back down. Okay, so that can't move. The cock is blocked. Okay. You gonna go play a tree? Okay, love one. Bye, gorgeous. So, on the inside of the door was... Um... How uh, the code to open it. So then, 
I definitely but need it. I know, I know. I pressed the wrong button again. There uh, we go. Something clicked on the front of the clock. At least it tells you where. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh no, oh, that's sad. Okay. That's nifty, ever. <laughs> Interact. Give me the. This Ooh. could be useful. Really? You don't say? It could be. Betty, God. I enjoyed a wonderful evening in your company, and I hope that we will see each other again very soon. D. My dearest Betty, I know okay. that your art is already spoken for. But you are the most beautiful dancer I have ever had the pleasure of meeting, and I am impatient <laughs> to see you again, Adrian. Mm, I agree. So she had two other lovers. Well, they might not have been lovers, but... Are there more here? It looks like Betty has a very busy life. Well, it seems like it. Invitation for a dance. Stylish race. The Blue Lobster! Impossible. Like luxury I wonder if that's an actual movie. And being as pretty as she was, she probably did not have any problem getting herself invited. Snarky? But fair enough. Is that Lord and him again? Hey! Oh, no, I didn't want this. This okay. small key should be useful to me. What small key? I've finished with this subject. A pop was even touching it, man. Medicine to prevent voice loss. Did Betty have problems with her voice? It's another throat issue thing. Is that maybe it's a guy in London? Yeah, so small you can't see. Thank you, Lauren. Oh no, there it is. I wonder if it's that drop. For the love of trash cans. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I think we're done in here. Different dress, different. We've done that one. Okay, hang on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh no. Mm. A box. Ah, oh, that's the box of stockings, right? Do they still come like that? Where's the sister gone? Where is this sister gone, actually? You'd think the phone would be in the main room. Family photos and fires. Yeah. I don't know why, it's a PS4 Pro, which... It really bugs the crap out of me, like... What's the point in the Pro if it struggles to play even... Old games. Oh, it's not old, but the Barnard appear to make music a priority in their budget. Oh well. Hello. Violin. Worn furniture. And the piano. Uh huh. They're oh. all Miss Modest, but the Barnards are definitely music lovers. Could be an um. Uh... Do you mean unoptimized game or I'm pretty sure this is originally a computer game. Yeah. Uh, you did mean what you said. No, I anyway. Um Am I missing something? There was some music. Maybe we got okay, you know what? Objectives. Listen to Betty Trucker. I thought that'd be a bit rude, but it Eric wouldn't let me get it down. With an title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Records. You. <sighs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. No, don't leave. The record should be here. Thinking. In the drawer? Ah, oh, the key. <laughs> Let us see. 
What is this cupboard hiding? Do you reckon? <clears throat> um, what was it? Uh, Dead by Daylight. It'd be a difficult one. This looks like a tournament. This looks like solfege. <laughs> okay. Oh well. Ah, there we go. We've got the record. It's another puzzle box thing. Hello, crank. I wonder if it's cranky. <laughs> there is bound to be a clue somewhere. I cannot open it. It looks like the mechanism. Okay. Cool. It's blocked. Who'd have the money to have shit like this built? Like, that's awesome. Hang on, what am I changing though? It's all fun and dandy to have the puzzle, but... Okay. There is bound to be a clue. Yeah, that's fine. So I can interact with them, but that's a definite answer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fair. And they're also a lot sturdier, too. So we're looking for what equals that. And I'd say... Interesting. So three to the one, and then that's four. What? Three, two, one. That's my stomach, and that felt really weird. So it'd be two of them plus that equals that. I reckon. I'm just guessing now. But I think that might be right. There is bound to be a. Yes. Oh, sideways. Oh, there's a fourth. What? There's a fifth! And all honestly, that's four, so that should be one plus one plus two. I think I read that wrong. One plus one plus one, and two plus two, and then there's four, and then there's. This looks like solfege. Yeah, I got that, but, um... Ah, so, so that, that's, that's four. Right, so that's four. Ah, that's one. No, that's two, and then that's one. Okay, wrong way around. Back it up. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, let's see. That should work though. There is bound to be a clue. I know, there is a clue somewhere, I just saw it, but... If that's the answer they want, which is four, then they're both ones, and that's a two. Okay. Let's have a look, see. It's one. It's 
So, what do you mean? So, you should be going back up that way. Or... It's one beat, two beat, four beat, eight beat. But why does this split off into the same thing each time? Hmm. This looks like solfege. There is probably. Yeah, I do get that. Um. So it comes across and goes up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I failed music, man. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, let's see. It's beat. Beat, beat. Beat, 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 beat. Um, so we're trying to get what equals to that and it has to be three things but it's all plus unless I'm reading that wrong and it's actually a minus one of them is actually a minus there is no. bound to be a cruise I know stop repeating yourself so that's what we want and we got that's one so that'll be part of the love of fish. Try two, two, and one. Yeah, give me a sec. I've got to remember which one's two. So hat uh, uh, right side up is two. There is bound to be a clue somewhere. You took your phone away. Remember. Or two two one. So that's two two one. That's that didn't work. So one two. I didn't do that. That was freaking weird. Ah, ah, yeah, 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 gotcha. There's they're the flats. Or oh, something, they're, they're the brakes, aren't they? One, one, two. two. I heard the sound of a mechanism being triggered. So what, just go backwards? So, because that's five. That's fuck. What the fuck? What? No, I, I need that one explained. How did that work? Yeah, you're probably gonna have to show me this one because I don't get that. Have to show me sometime. Okay. Is that a photo or a drawing? It's supposed to be a photo or a drawing? Oh, going back here, are we? Yeah, I get, I get that. But each, each that each one, excuse me, is that not two beats and that not one beat? So then two, two, two plus one plus two, or two plus two plus one equals five. Not unless it goes that plus that equals that. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. That took me way. Too 
very long. Oh, let's see, is there anything up here? I Hello. cannot open it. It looks like the mechanism is... That doesn't work. I must have forgotten. Back it up. Bless you. He sneezes. That doesn't work. I must. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, seven eight T. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, okay, so it's not full, it's it's portions. I just have to put the record on the gramophone and start it. Ah. That doesn't work. I must have forgotten. That's weird. That doesn't work. You just said put the. It looks like something goes in. That doesn't work. Okay. Alright. Okay, why are you not letting me interact with it again? That doesn't work. Ah, uh, how does a gramophone work? It's very pretty, though. Why won't you let me lift the needle? Huh. That helps. Tornado's fucking hell as well. Okay, so we pop that on. And we pop that back down. Yo ho. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Donald! We're in the middle of recording. Sorry, Betty, but it's not wise. The doctor said you should rest your voice. You're such a killjoy sometimes. Betty oh, was yeah. such a good singer. It's true. Did she have any problem with her salt? Yes, she had to be careful with her voice. Of course, she didn't follow the doctor's advice. If Don didn't insist, she... Well, it's too late for all that now. Hmm. Here. I have something to ask you. It looks like this woman is single, but she has feelings for someone. How can you, how do you tell? No wedding ring. Eyes bringing with tears. And holding a photo. Oh, Betty and Donald. Okay. She's looking oh, so okay. intensely at this photo. But is it really a sister that she's studying in this manner? Hmm. Let's piss her off. They made the perfect couple, am I correct? Yes, in a way. She was pretty and he... Well? He's a bright man. 
with a promising career ahead of him. He would have made Betty a good husband. He was always attentive and generous. Oh, a true gentleman. I hear a note of envy in your voice. You must have heard wrong. Donald appeared to be very much in love with your sister. Yes, he was mad about her. Mad, you say? Being madly in love can often be destructive, and Mr. Fraser was known for being jealous, I believe. No more than average. Men are always slightly possessive, especially when they are with a pretty woman. Okay. You are a poor liar, Mademoiselle Bernard. Excuse me, Mr. Poirot, but I do not see why you are interested in our humble little crime. Humble? It appears that your sister's murder is the second in a series that we have to stop as quickly as possible. The first was in Andover, and the same as your sister, the murderer sent me a letter informing me that a crime would be committed in that town. Now can I count on your honesty? Yes. You have my confidence, Mr. Poirot. Don is a quiet and sensitive young man. Slightly reserved, too. And as is often the case with reserved people, when he flew into a temper, he completely lost control. He could be so violent. Betty was frightened. And when was this? The first time was about a year ago. But they rowed more recently. Donald found out that Betty had lied to him. She said she was going out with a girlfriend, but she went out for dinner with a married man. It was an awful scene. She told him that until they were married, she was free to go with whoever she pleased. Donald turned quite pale and started shaking and kept saying, One day... One day... Well? He'd commit murder. Oh, shit. Okay. So you were afraid that he would become our main suspect. I know that Fraser was jealous, but I wonder why you feel the need to protect him. Exactly. Had you not told me about the case, I would never have dared to tell you about this little matter. Don loved Betty with all his heart. I can't imagine for one instant that he would hurt her. Very good, Mademoiselle Barnard. Thank you for your help. Fraser is at the Ginger Cat. The police haven't spoken to him, but they want to. Très bien, Hastings. Let's see him now. Au revoir, mademoiselle. My deepest condolences to your parents. Of course, Mr. Poirot. Here and don't go. be too hard on Don. He's more fragile than he looks. If you say so. Hmm. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Okay. Betty, what had Betty planned to do with her evening? Just meet somebody, go out. Um. Hmm. Alright, try this again for the beginning. Betty had planned to go meet someone that evening. Um, a lot of visitors. This Tommy and no. Uh, I don't think that's got anything to do with it. There are a lot of visitors. Betty was seeing other men as well as Donald. Yeah. But, no. No. Betty lied to Donald because she had a date with another man. Yeah. But that was the day before, not that evening. All right. Whatever. Um. Betty used to go go out and a great deal. Um, okay, so I finally got one option. Again, if that was why? Okay, the man introduced Betty before. Oh, okay, fine. Let's stop what that says at all. But Let us gotcha. Now try and get our brain cells to work. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Megan Bernard, okay. Uh. 
Megan has a spot spot for Donald. Uh, did Megan have a motive for killing her sister? She'd be now the sole heir. Um. Hey, Megan was jealous. Okay, fine. Okay. You've seen Fraser Hastings. What is your feeling? He's a big chap. Fragile isn't exactly the word that springs to mind. I talked to his landlady before seeing him. She went to bed at 11. Fraser wasn't home yet. Yeah. Megan Barnard said he is a reserved character but with a nasty temper. We will see if this is the case. Hmm. What? Oh, we've got no clothes. Why would we be asking this now? Oh, okay. Got some. There's a clue missing. Hmm. Better go find that other clue. Then. What does that mean one clue is available? What? Ah, oh, in there. Or do you mean here? No. There's no way. Ah, uh, let's go and talk to the ginger cat. mirror and then go talk to him. Okay, it doesn't work for everyone. Though. You can't investigate him, just take him How out. do you do, okay. Mr. Fraser? You Hercule Poirot? Mr. Hastings said you wanted to speak to me. Yes. I know that it may not be at the right time, but I would like to ask you a few questions. There we go. This man looks suspicious. Uh, apparently their points for acting like Proud Pyro would. Uh, so, yeah, so checking yourself in each mirror is more points. Um, but then Donald Fraser reacting how he state, would, I guess. As if he hadn't slept all night. And he's drinking white horse. How did you tell I was drinking white horse? There's no label. Leave me alone. How about no? Where is my cursor? There it is. Talk to him. Tell me that it's a mistake. That Betty isn't dead. Sadly, your lady friend has been murdered, Mr. Fraser. Oh, Betty, if only you'd listened. Hmm? If I have understood correctly, Betty was not the sort of person to listen to advice. You're right. She always did as she pleased. And what did she have in mind for yesterday evening? She said she was having dinner with her sister. Yet, Megan only returned to Bexel this morning, Mr. Fraser. I didn't know. Right. May I ask you what you were doing yesterday evening? I spent the evening working. Your colleagues can confirm this? No. I often take work home with me. Therefore, you have no alibi, Mr. Fraser. That's right. But that doesn't make me a murderer, Mr. Poirot. 
I would like you to leave now, please. No. Um, the lip flaps weren't working. <laughs> that was weird. Ah, I knew I'd find you here, Poro. I thought the victim's young man was here. Yes, he's all yours, Chief Inspector. Let us now try. Right. Okay. Did he have a motive? Um, doesn't have an alibi. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Lip flaps. Yes, lip flaps. What am I doing? Right, um, alibi. He doesn't have one. And... I mean, would that not be an alibi? I mean, would that not be a... <laughs> yeah, I haven't noticed until now. And but that, that's a mo motive, but he doesn't exactly have one. What the heck? Alright, try again. Alright. To proof. He did lower. And he was lost. No. Huh? But it doesn't say that he does have a... Uh... Like, so he doesn't have an alibi. And uh, he was in, in love with that, but it was also violent. So not having an alibi and being violent linked with the third one of her going out all the time would make more of a motive. Doesn't mean that it was true, but for the love of fish. Why? What has that got to do with the price? Okay, so jealousy, but the other two make more sense. No, he doesn't have an alibi. Okay, fine. Does he have a motive for all the murders? He loved them. But apparently not. Oh, for all the murders? No, he doesn't. Oh, I read that wrong. Okay, cool. Do 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 do. What? What are you gonna be about? Hmm? You wanna hide? Fraser doesn't have an alibi, and he's extremely jealous. You are very skilled at setting up. And yet, you haven't asked Jap to arrest him. It is too soon. But I agree. Without the letters announcing the crimes, Fraser would already be behind bars. Bon, I think we have enough elements. Let's reconstruct the events at the scene of the crime. <laughs> I can't imagine how the murderer wasn't seen, though. Surely she must have struggled. Let us try and imagine the scene. The killer and the victim are walking on the beach. Miss Betty has a bag, a belt around her waist, and carries her shoes in her hand. Both of them walk slowly to aunt number five. Both of them walk slowly to hut number six. Miss Betty enters the hut. She leaves without her belongings. Then she hides a coat. Music's not bad. No, it advanced. Then she, all... then she removes a belt. The murderer moves behind her and then attacks her by surprise. Okay. The body falls, lifeless, on the sand. Everything appears to match the crime scene, Moshe Hastings. 
That is exactly what happened. Weird. Okay. Reconstruction success. <laughs> Without the ABC, we might have suspected Mr. Asher and Mr. Fraser. But by signing his crimes, the murderer is making sure he's accused. In a way, it is very generous of him. Generous? The murderer seduced Betty in order to lure her to the beach and kill her. Indeed, the young woman was certainly careless, but not stupid enough to follow a stranger. What are you planning to do, Poirot? Return to London, mon cher Hastings. So she, she didn't follow a stranger, so she had to have known him at least for a couple of hours? Mm. Close to what? We've got it. We've we've got our whatever. Okay. What are you chirping about, boy? Congratulations! You've awarded the romantic. You won the award, romantic confessional. Okay. You say so? Oh, uh, right, the back to London. There is nothing more for us to do here. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. Collect ego points by acting the same way as Hercule Poirot. It, t it tells you every now and then. Jap has decided to reveal details to the press. The alphabet murder is now famous. It is not a bad idea. The more people who know, the greater our chances of finding out something of interest. Poirot, I have a bad feeling. Hmm. Poor Mr. Poirot, not so good at these little criminal matters as you thought yourself, are you? Rather past your prime, perhaps. Let us see if you can do any better this time. This time, it's an easy one. Churston on the 30th. Do try and do something about it. It's a bit dull having it all my own way, you know. Good hunting. Ever yours, ABC. Good hunting. Did you hear that, Poirot? The murderer seems to be taking it all as a game, a challenge. He will strike on 30th in Churston. We must warn Scotland Guard. No time to lose. We must prepare our suitcases for Churston. Mon Dieu, it is already 10 o'clock. I will call Scotland Yard immediately. Prim... Primedial? Prim... Primedial moustache? What? Hello, Jap. We received a new letter from ABC in the 10 o'clock post. Where and when? In Cheston. Today. Today? I'll inform the population immediately. I'll check the train times. Call me back. Uh, do we have an ABC to check the times? What is this one? Yeah, they did. It was weird. Delifica, July 30, 1935. ABC affair. No progress. The alphabet murderer is still on the run. Ever since the police found the connection between the Bexhill and Endover affairs, the inquiry has barely progressed. In this issue, we are publishing provocative letters sent by the killer to Hercule Poirot. Unfortunately, they have not yet helped to find him. Daily Flicker, July the 26, 1935. The Bexhill Horror. Young maid strangled on the beach. Killer struck at midnight. Okay. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, hello. Hastings, what you are doing is an absolute disaster. That is no way to pack suitcases. Heavens, we must hurry. We have to get to Churston before the murder. 
Is things order and method are always necessary, regardless of the circumstances. Okay, okay. I'll let you pack them. Right, I thought I'd a bit more like that. All the same. Oh shit, okay. It really is a disgrace to leave your belongings in such a mess. Bath towel. Badly folded pajamas. Badly closed toothpaste. Unprotected bottles and a sock. Oh, it sucks. It's Lauren. <laughs> voilà. It only took a minute. Uh, and what did it do? Poirot, you were right. I've just consulted the ABC guide. There's no hurry. The next train doesn't leave till 11.45. You see, there is no need to hurry. We will not be in Cherston until tomorrow morning. After the murder. But why has the murderer warned us so late? It's not what he usually does. Did he do it on purpose? Very good question, Hastings. Hmm. We should also compare the letter we have just received with the other two. Although I have very little doubt about what we will find. Ah. We've missed the 645 train, but we have plenty of time to catch the night train. I wonder how far it is. Dun dun dun. Oh, no, that's two. Ah, uh, fish. Hmm. Hastings hunting. Oh. Hastings photo album. He is very proud of his bag. Uh huh. Yippee. Not a good time. What do you mean it's not a good time? I can bear in the letter. It is not. Thank you. Okay. Is that, is that by today's standards or theirs? It's by today's. These things, it would appear that you are getting slightly thin on top. Rude. Really? I hadn't noticed. Okay. Uh, get the letters. Miss Hastings, Hastings tore the envelope. What the... Ah, oh, okay, I can compare that. Right. Cool. Ah, oh, do I observe them each? Poor Mr. Poirot. Not so good at this... Yeah, okay, we'll put that. And then... What? Please one moment, no one was... No one known at White Horse Mansions and White Horse Court try... What, what the hell? It's written on the envelope is wrong. The killer wrote white horseman. Is it a mistake? Huh. So he didn't send it late. He got the wrong address? Okay. Let us compare this new letter with the second one. Wait, how did he get the address wrong when he sent it the right the first time? Let us examine this more closely. The paper's different, that's one. Certain characters in the two letters may have similar defects. Ugh. Yes, this eye is weird. Yes, the eye characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. 
I have to find some other similar. And the A. Let us examine the characters in this world. No, yes. in that, yeah. The A appears to be quite unusual. Then That's right. The A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same Then the W's. I have to find some other Quack. similar defects to confirm my theory. Way in. So it's the same person, but why did they get the address wrong? Hmm. The W is not printed properly. Of course, so the W characters in the two then. letters do indeed have the same defects. <laughs> my theory was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. What? Okay. No? Oh, right. Okay. He read Elizabeth because of an error in the address, yeah. But he didn't get it wrong the first two times. The letter should have arrived in time. The postmark shows that it was...